Hi, I'm Darren. These are my hands. And today we're not looking at Gru. Well, that's not totally true, but today we're looking at some stuff I got in the mail. My good friend Doug was out on a road trip a month or so ago. He came across a comic book store that was selling Sergio stuff for two bucks a pop, gave me a FaceTime call, and we started flipping through the boxes together remotely. And what did I pick up for two bucks each? Check it out. Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead, Sergio Stomp Star Wars, and Star Slayer number four, two bucks each, right on. All right, let's take a look at some of these things here. So, Star Slayer number four, let's take a look inside, a great two-page Gru the Wanderer ad. Check it out down here. 1982, Sergio Aragonez promoting Grew the Wanderer in Pacific Comics. Love the dragon up here behind Grew crawling up this cliff. All the soldiers are running away and Grew is thinking, man, I'm such a great warrior. They're so scared of me. Yeah, yeah, dragon behind you. And of course, we got a little cameo of Sergio here in the corner. Really neat. And on the back, look at that, that nice color coming soon grew the wanderer from pc comics sergio aragonez now i just took a look at the video i made a few months ago about how comics were colored in the olden days and i had the color guide for this particular ad but at the top of it it was labeled Captain Victory number four, and Sergio's name was up in the corner. It didn't say PC down here. It was a slightly different layout of the ad. Now I've got to get myself a copy of Captain Victory number four so I can see if that's how things were, if Sergio's name was up here. If you've got a copy of Captain Victory, actually, I think it's number six, get in touch with me. Send me a picture of it. I'd, I'd just love to see it. So that's pretty cool. Star Slayer number four. Next up, Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. This came out in 1996. And I've never seen inside of it before. I don't know what it's all about. Um, I'm kind of presuming it's a little bit like Boogeyman. I'm, I'm expecting it to be uh, black and white on the inside. But it's color. Apparently not expecting that, so that's cool. Oh, 1998. Why did I think this was 1996? Anyway, yeah, I'm not going to read it for you right now, but uh, yeah, this should be fun to take a look at. Ah, see, I was expecting something similar to the Boogeyman, like a bunch of... Ooh, that is a nice ad. It's about time the dog got equal billing. Sergio Aragonez grew and referto. Yeah, I was expecting something like Boogeyman, you know, a bunch of a black and white one-off stories. Mini stories, I guess. Hmm, good. Well, that might be fun to take a look at later. Great. All right, and last up, Sergio Stomp's Star Wars. Come on out. Maybe this was 1996. Yeah, again, I don't really know what this particular comic is about. Well, I know it's about, you know, Sergio making fun of Star Wars stuff. But, uh, yeah, what's it going to be like here? Oh, it's color. That's good. What year do we have here? 2000. Okay, so I guess we're in the middle of the prequels here. There's Sergio in an X-Wing. Right on. So, oh, it does look like a story. See, I was almost expecting it to be either a parody of Star Wars or maybe even just a bunch of pantomime gags about the Star Wars universe. So it looks like fun. There's some story going on here. Oh, look at this one of these. Uh, Sergio is in the Star Wars universe. Oh, this is cool. I like this. This will be fun. Right on. 
Okay, not going to go too deep into this, but that looks pretty cool. Oh, the Gru lunchbox. Anyway, Sergio Stomp Star Wars. Looks like it'll be fun too, along with Dia de los Muertos. And Star Slayer number four, that great ad on the back. And look at that great ad there. So, some fun stuff in the mail. Just a short one this week. If you like these quick little videos where I show off some stuff that I'm picking up, please let me know in the comments. Give the video a like. It helps out so much if you have subscribed to this channel. Getting really close to 800 subscribers. That's exciting. And what do I always say at the end? I'll be back again soon with some more GruTube. Take care, everybody.